Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. In Alberta, we're very good at recycling. Even our small communities, one by one, are getting state-of-the-art waste management facilities and successfully diverting everything from cell phones to old tires. But even with these exciting new developments, when it comes to environmental stewardship, there's still two R's that come before recycling. Reuse and reduce. There are risks and problems with any form of waste management. That's why you always want to reduce your waste first <laughs> before trying to manage it. Most of us choose to participate in recycling programs because of the environmental problems with landfills. But an abundance of consumer choice and planned obsolescence brings a complexity of new materials to the recycling facility, many of them hazardous. Add a lack of consistent information from the manufacturers, and waste management becomes a very complicated job these days. This is called a capacitor. It's found in microwaves inside by where the cord comes in, and it has to be removed before the material is recycled in the metal pile. A capacitor holds a charge. That's why we leave them for three weeks before we take them out, so the charge will dissipate. If the capacitor is left in and the microwave is recycled with, it, with this inside it, it can fry the smelter. Sometimes national regulations and international accords dictate the way products are handled, but it's always up to the local waste manager to figure out how to make it happen. These are two examples of fluorescent light ballasts. The PCBs were phased out in the late 70s. We have a cheat sheet where we check each brand has a different date that they switched over on. This brand here, if it has an N on the end of the code, it has PCBs in it. Okay, these are all our fridges. We get these taken away twice a year. Before they get taken away, we get them drained. All the CFCs have to come out. All the Freon has to be drained out of them. It's a liquid, but as soon as it touches the air, it evaporates immediately into a gas and goes up and eats our ozone layer. Mercury switches are found uh, mostly in vehicles, but some appliances as well. And uh, basically what they're for is to turn a light on. It's to turn a light on when a door opens. In Lesser Slave Region, just as all over Alberta, people have embarked on a journey to learn about and sustainably manage their own waste. Now some people came on board quicker and some were slower, but I think people are really proud now. This episode of Made in Alberta was sponsored by the Regional Environmental Action Committee, producers of the My Life series. To learn more about these educational videos that teach kids about recycling and environmental stewardship, phone Cinefet at 1-800-858-2183 or visit cinefet.ca. Join us again for more investigation into the entire recycling industry in Alberta.